Main spare parts of YZ, YX, 120, SLWZ, automatic temperature control oil press with water cooling system, deceleration system, feeding system, squeeze chamber assembly, adjusting assembly, water cooling circling system, electric control, vacuum oil filter, which showed our adjusting assembly, machine stand, deceleration box, lubrication hole, oil view hole, oil drain hole, feeder base, squeeze chamber assembly, adjusting bolt, pressing bolt, lock nut, squeeze loop, ring of squeeze bars. One, the oil press should be stably and safely placed on the flat platform. Keep it horizontal and leave enough space for convenient operation and maintenance. Then, take down the screw bolt of the lubrication hole on the gear box. Fill lubricating oil in the gear box according to instruction. Do not start the machine without filling lubricating oil. Otherwise, the gears and bearings will be damaged. Two. Fill lubricating oil up to the upper part of the oil view hole on the gear box. About 8 to 9 kilograms. N32 number oil. 3. Tighten the bolt after finishing filling. 4. Fill lubricating oil or clean squeezed plant oil in the oil cup of the adjusting bolt on the spiral shaft. 5. Fill lubricating oil or clean squeezed plant oil in the bevel gears of the feeding assembly. 6. Ensure the water valve of the water tank under the machine is closed. Turn clockwise is to close. Then open the water drain ball valve. Fill tap water through plastic pipe. 7. Also can direct connect the plastic pipe to the water hole on the water tank. 8. Remove the ventilation cover plate on the electric control box. 9. Connect electric control box to 380 voltage, 3 phase electricity. 10. Connect terminals to 3 phase 4 wires power supply in sequence. 11. Connect 3 live wires and a zero line from right to left. 12. Check and adjust the bell tension. Should not be too loose or too tight. Belt pulley and V-belt rotating parts must not be clinked to other parts. 13. Turn on the general power switch. 14. Check if the buttons on the operation panel are working properly. Set up temperature of the squeeze chamber according to oil material requests. 15. Press the start pressing button. Check if the rotation direction of spiral shaft is the same as the arrow direction on the gearbox. 16. Install back the ventilation cover of the electric control box. 1. Mix smashed cake with 10% hot water. An appropriate amount of sand can be added if necessary. 2. Start oil press. 3. Method of adjusting cake thickness. Adjust according to label on the machine stand. Rotating the adjusting bolt clockwise is to increase the cake thickness. Rotating counterclockwise is to reduce the cake thickness. Tighten the tight nut after adjusting. 4. At the beginning of the feeding, manually control the cake quantity. Feeding slowly. Feeding can be too quick and much. Cake can't be too dry. 5. Observe if cake come out from cake out position and if running is smooth. 6. Observe the cake thickness during the wear-in process. Check if cakes come out smoothly. When repeats pressing, the moisture of the cake will reduce by degrees. Must observe continually and add hot water properly. When warmed, the machine up to settle degree. Stop wearing in. Start to squeeze oil formally. Use the roaster machine to heat oil seeds. Firstly, light the fire. Two, connect roaster machine to power supply. 
Turn the positive and negative switch counterclockwise to make the roaster machine rotate. 3. Pour oil seeds into the roaster machine from the feeding hopper. Start roasting. 4. When roasting is finished, turn the positive and negative switch clockwise to reverse the pot body. The oil material will be poured out. 5. Fill the roasted seeds in collector. 1. After milling the cake to warm the oil press up to set a temperature, prepare to feeding and squeezing. 2. Turn on oil press, pour roasted seeds into feeding hopper evenly and slowly. Can't feed too much, too quick or inconsistently. Adjust the adjusting bolt, set the cake thickness as 1.5 to 2 mm. 3. The oil squeezed is gathered in oil tray. Then flow to the oil filter tanks through the oil tunnel. The two oil filter tanks work alternatively. 4. Observe closely to see if running is smooth and cake is normal. Normal cake has tiled shape, not stick fingers when pinches. Inner surface is smooth and outside surface is crinkle, no oil stains. 5. Spread the cake until it's cooled down below 40 degrees centigrade to avoid spontaneous combustion. Then storage is permitted. 6. When the oil is completely submerged, the filter mesh. Press the start filtration button. The vacuum pump starts to work. 7. During vacuum pump working, open the vacuum control valve of the working oil filter tank only. All of other valves should be closed. 8. When filtration is started, clean oil flows into the tank and residue drag stays on the filter mesh. Use wooden shovel and brush to clean the dregs in order not to block the filter mesh. 9. As the oil has high temperature and is unrefined, it's easy to generate bubbles under negative pressure in the tank. Excessive bubbles will decrease the vacuum pump's efficiency. Even make oil filter cannot work properly. So it's necessary to observe through the middle view window to check if bubbles are generated. 10. Once bubbles are found, Turn off the vacuum control valve immediately. Turn on the air control valve to let fresh air in. Thus to cool down the filter tank to avoid generate excessive bubbles. 11. When bubbles faded, turn off the air control valve. Turn on the vacuum control valve for continuing filtering. Still pay attention to the whole oil filtration process. 12. When the filtered clean oil level in the filter tank reaches the middle level of the observe window. Stop filtering. Prepare to use the other one filter tank. 13. Turn off the vacuum control valve on the filter tank. Turn on the air control valve. Release the negative pressure. Put a clean container under the tank. Turn on the valve at the bottom of the tank. Discharge the oil. 14. Use the two oil filter tanks alternatively to circulate the oil filtration job. 15. Clean the residue oil in the filter tank. Repeatedly turn off the vacuum control valve and turn on the air control valve to let cold air in. Filtrate all the oil. 16. Use wooden shovel to clean the dry dregs on the filter mesh. The dregs can be fed an oil press to press again. Wash or replace the filter cloth and filter mesh in time when they are blocked. Used filter cloth can be reused when washed. 17. Press the stop filtration button on the electric control panel once the filtration process finished. 1. Stop the machine. Turn off the power. Dismantle the K-crashing screw on the bottom lock nut. 2. Dismantle the four screws connected to the feeder base and feeding hopper. Take off the flat belt. Then take off the feeding hopper. 3. Dismantle the flexible screws on the gearbox. Take off the stainless steel soft tube. 4. Counterclockwise turn and dismantle the water outlet tube accessories. 5. Dismantle the soft water inlet metal tube on the machine stand. 6. Do not damage or lose the seal in the soft tube to avoid leakage. 7. Use hollow pole to overlap the adjusting handle. Clockwise turn the spiral shaft. 8. Or manually turn the adjusting handles. Horizontally pull out the spiral shaft evenly. 
9. Horizontally raised out the spiral shaft with several people. Put on ground safely. 10. Firstly loosen the bolts at the two sides of squeeze cage. 11. Then deassemble the bolts connecting the top cage and bottom cage in order. 12. Completely disassemble the bolts on the two sides of the squeeze cage. 13. Take off the top squeeze cage and bottom squeeze cage. 14. Then insert the special pull rod into the hole of the pressing bolts and pull it counterclockwise to loosen the pressing bolt. 15. Loosen and take out the loops and squeeze bars ring one by one. 16. Put the loops in sequence. Pay attention to the order and assemble them according to the original order after washing. 1. Clean the dregs in the press chamber and the feeder base after disassemble the squeeze loops and squeeze bars with ring. 2. Disassemble the squeeze bars, pad the ring of squeeze bars. Attention! Do not pad the squeeze bar. Punch one squeeze bar off. The other squeeze bars will fall automatically. 3. Prepare some warm water. Brush all sides of each squeeze bar. Clean off the oil dregs. Unclog the oil grooves. 4. Wash the ring of the squeeze bars. 5. Wash the squeeze loops in order. 6. Attention! Should wash the squeeze loops with steel brush according to the direction of the oil grooves. This is for unclogging the oil grooves and is good for discharging oil. 7. Put the squeeze loops according to the original order. Pay attention to the sequence for reassembling. 8. Assembling the ring of squeeze loops. Arrange the squeeze bars orderly on the inner wall of the ring and close to the inner wall. The oil grooves must be on the side which is perpendicular to the inner wall and all deep or light oil grooves should be in one direction. E. Zha Tiao An Zhuang. Zha Tiao Quan Fang Yu Ping Tan De Di Mian. Jiang Zha Tiao Yu Jian Yi Zhi. 顺序整齐排列在内壁。二，垫片安装，全部炸条安装完毕，最后将垫片用手锤从上端打入，直到垫片端面与炸圈端面平齐为止。注意不能过紧或过松，用手锤敲击炸条内侧，使炸条紧贴炸条圈内壁，直到手摸炸条内壁无突出现象为止。三，炸条圈安装时，注意炸条深油线一侧应朝向减速箱，然后将所有炸圈按原来的顺序依次放入下炸笼。安装时，炸圈有油槽的端面朝向压紧螺栓，其中一号炸圈有内斜面的一面应朝向减速箱。四，所有炸圈顺次安装完成后。用专用扳棒插入压紧螺栓孔内，将炸圈预紧，边预紧边用手锤轻敲打炸圈，使其排列平行贴紧炸笼。预紧时用力不能太大，否则容易损坏炸笼螺纹。五，将上炸笼盖好，把上下炸笼连接螺栓扳紧。六。多人抬起螺旋轴，水平缓慢推入炸膛。七，反时针转动调节手柄，将调节螺栓旋入机架处调节螺母，装入螺旋轴，预紧夹紧螺母。八，将机架处进水金属软管接头旋紧，注意接头内密封垫一定完好装入。九。将出水接管螺纹处缠绕生料带，以防漏水。接管穿过支撑架，螺纹旋入减速箱端右旋转接头，扳紧调至所需安装位置。十，接管另一端用活接螺母连接金属软管，注意一定装入密封垫。十一，此时即可安装上进料斗。固定好与三通的连接螺栓。十二，用手转动皮带轮。
将平皮带安装到位。十三，最后放置栅笼盖，完成清理工作。